Hey there, so today I want to bring you an internet slap fight between two lawyers, Riketa Law, that I actually like, and Mark Zaid, who, well, I'm still trying to get a handle on who exactly he is. In fact, I've been asking that question more and more, and well, I seem to have gotten a snapshot of at least his ego looking at what transpired today. So if you don't know why we're talking about these folks at all, this delves into the diversity in comics, or Richard C. Meyer lawsuit wherein he is suing Mark Wade for tortious interference regarding the distribution of jawbreakers. You know, basically, he is claiming that Antarctic Press was interfered with there. There was a contract between the two parties, and well, it wasn't honored because this guy came in, he did a lot of things, and well, there's a lot of interesting stuff out there. If you've not caught up on videos on that, in fact, I would suggest that you do so because it's going going to be interesting to play out and mark my words no in pun, no pun intended for mark wade or mark zaid but yeah mark my words that there is much more out there than what you've seen in fact when all of this plays out we'll come back to this and you and i will sit around and we'll have a good laugh about it because well i know a couple of things there and oh my goodness it's going to be a fun fun ride but going out and getting dressed to know uh, Mark Zaid. I'd gone and I'd looked up stuff besides that old dossier that everyone knows about by now, wherein he's gone out and represented certain commodities. Because I wanted to know why a guy that's charging 750 bucks an hour, if the numbers right there are right, why he's representing Mark Wade. I still want to know who's footing that bill, too. I want to know if it's Disney, or I want to know if that's, say, Time Warner and on, but I guess we'll find out a little bit later within that. But what I do know when I look this guy up is that he has a connection to comics. In fact, there is a very interesting video out there I've talked about a little bit before wherein he is giving a presentation. He talks about, you know, lawyers within comics, but not only that, he also goes in and he talks about kind of people that he represents sometimes. And within that, too, he tells you some interesting little tidbits about knowing those DC comic lawyers. And also, hell, he has a certain comic within his collection that probably shouldn't be there. You know, because it was stolen in the past. He had bought it. And, well, nobody's asked for it back. Not a good thing to throw out there, I'm sure, as a lawyer. But, hey, what do I know? Apparently, according to Mark Zaid, most of us don't know anything. How do I get to that? Well, this video was put out by Riketa Law. And if you want to watch it all, it's not very long. It's about a 10-minute video. But within it, Riketa Law talks about how there was a filing. And this filing was for an extension. That extension in Texas, well, it had a different lawyer's name on it. Now, knowing Riketa Law, they went in and probably tried to talk to Mark Zaid. But seeing how Mark Mark Zaid acts and interacts. I'm sure he didn't have time to talk about anything. Until, of course, this video hit the internet, and then, yeah, he has plenty of time to talk about things. So the first thing that he had to say, well, of course it went up on Facebook. Because what kind of person would he be if he didn't use this archaic method to go out and try to give people the old what for? Mark Zaid here. People on the internet can be such morons. Apparently, Mark Wade really brings them out, too. Amazed with that right there, first off the that. Mark Wade really brings them out, too. Yeah, you know, we only saw the last post by Mark Wade attacking Antarctic Press, but hey, again, what does anybody know here? Continuing on, though, what really amazes me is this idiot, Nick Ricada, spreading this story is or was a lawyer. Not a very good one, I guess. I will remain lead attorney for Mark Wade. I'm not licensed in the state of Texas. So that means I need to retain local Texas counsel which I did. They appropriately filed a motion for extension and will soon be filing a pro-hack vice motion, uh, which will seek my admission to the court proceeding. Any attorney worth their salt would understand this process and not speculate, as Mr. Riketa did in his blog. If the filing of the motion for extension without my being on it represents anything, it shows that no one should take anything Mr. Riketa writes or says without a grain of salt. He has no clue what he's talking about, especially in this case. All right, so shots fired. And of course, Riketa Law actually 
handles this, I think, pretty well with humor. You know, actually talks about it with some humor. So you can see people answering here. And of course, the guy who's going to tell you that he knows pretty much everything about comics and law, apparently knows everything about everything except how to go out and archive a video. I like this post here, too. Here's the idiot's video, Mark Zaid says. Another person sounds off and says, I value 10 minutes of my life too highly to watch this, but I downloaded it and uh, if you comment, I'll I'll upvote it. Oh, man, that's good. Get in there. I'll upvote your comment, Mark, because, you know, we'll give them the old what for. Isn't that amazing? I did post a comment. Can you please save the video? Save as in bookmark or save as in download so you have evidence if he deletes it have evidence. Oh no, counselor, are we going to give them the what for there to download? So I have it in case he deletes it. Oh man, done. So he actually has to show the guy who knows everything except, of course, how to work that pesky old interweb. Now, we have a little filing here on top of that. After a sketch therapy posts this video, after he does so, of course, we have Mark Zaid sound off on Twitter, too. And I have to say, when you're going out there, and this is for anyone, if you're going to cut posts into portions, I know that you can't go out and spell check after the fact, but my God, if you're going to go out and use extra words anyhow, why not make this thing read, you know, like the $750 per hour person you're supposed to be. But anyway, let's continue. You're a complete idiot. Do you actually practice law for a living? I love how you ridicule and call dumb comic book pros regarding fact that I was Mark Wade's attorney. Man, that's hard to read. Hey, counselor, I'm not licensed in Texas. I need local counsel and hired top-notch law firm. Routine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, local Texas firm will wave me in. Pro hack vice. Do you even understand that term? I retain lead counsel in this case and can't wait to pursue it further. And what uh, your video does show to everyone is that you have absolutely zero clue about anything relating to this case and probably anything regarding comics or the law. You should find a day job regarding comics or the law. This guy sounds more and more like a comic pro out there. You know, those people that know everything about everything except any type of decorum. But then again, you know, shots fired because you know, we're bringing out the idiots, right? The idiots that, of course, they wanted professionalism. They wanted good products. And at the end of the day, well, it all led to this because Mark Way just couldn't leave well enough alone. You know, maybe while we're at it, Mark Zaid, you could look into the stuff with Alterna, too. Because you need to probably tell the person you're representing, maybe while he's being sued, he shouldn't go in and try to dump on yet another company. But still, that's it's neither here or there. Also, you know, we're going to have some more exchange with that. But, you know, someone brings up the really important question. What about Jamal Igel? You know, internet lawyer. Could he bring in that bird knowledge in on? Because we really, really probably need this on the case. So anyhow, this isn't the end of that either. You know, we see uh, Ricada Law say, since I'm a dummy and forgot the link, well, here's the link there. And, of course, this gets another reply from the lawyer that costs, well, quite a bit. I am shocked this guy is an attorney, doesn't understand basics of needing local counsel when lead attorney is not licensed in relevant state. I will continue to be Mark Wade's attorney. If this video demonstrates anything, it's a reminder that morons tweet and not to believe what you read or hear. Yeah, you know, things like, I don't know, Mark Wade telling you that he could not actually be held uh, liable for going out and doing the things that he did, because I seem to remember Mark Wade saying that. Or the fact that later on, that there in fact would be no lawsuit, and basically the fact that he can act any way that he wants, any time that he wants, and that there's no repercussion whatsoever. I guess, counselor, we'll see about that, right? Right. 
But also, you know, what about a Wendig? I remember him typing something out, telling us that, you know, Star Wars, you can't get fired from that stuff, can't get fired from Marvel. So yeah, I guess you don't believe everything you read out there. Oh man, but this, you know, it goes on just a little bit further. So Ricada Law, to their credit, actually has a lot of fun with it. You know, I guess you won't be coming on the show because Mark Zay did indeed say, hey, yeah, I wouldn't mind coming on the show there. Of course, you know, Mark Zaid, I imagine after things move forward, didn't actually decide to be on there, much like I'm sure when all of this stuff was being confirmed, I'm sure he didn't take the time to actually respond to any questions. He only decided to respond when there was an article out there because he could show us how big-brained he was. Wasn't that amazing? And, you know, we have the, uh-oh, I made the big attorney mad, you know, because those types of attorneys, yeah, they get mad, and they get mad, and they're always mad, even when they're out there having their clients fill out checks. Isn't that right, Mark Zaid? And I'm sure, Rick Law, I'm sure you've experienced that too, right? Ah. Yeah, but continuing here, we had, uh, I will be updating my video on diversity in comics, Mark Wade and Mark S. Zaid Esquire, as Zaid has publicly declared he is still lead attorney on the case and will be representing Wade pro hack vice. Having literally no way of knowing this fact, I will update one of, you know, oh, I lied. I don't actually have a thread. I just wanted to feel important. Oh, man, you know, that's so sad. You couldn't be like this guy and buy a few more <laughs> things that you throw in there. Maybe you needed to chop off a few sentences and make it uh, make it pretty much non-legible. I mean, what do you know about law or comics or day jobs or sentence structure? You don't know anything. Maybe you need to retain counsel. Ah, uh, but anyway... I feel like I've gotten to know Mark Zaid a little bit more here, but you tell me what you think. When you see this exchange, I love a good internet slap fight there. Like I say, for a $750 an hour guy, yeah, it does make me wonder exactly why you need to go out there and you need to give those terrible, terrible people the what for. And Mark Wade, that statement about him bringing out the morons, I'm sure that that's pointed at quite a few people out there. I'm sure that people that buy comic books and have been talking about this stuff as they watch all of this play out and they see just how ugly things had gotten, I'm sure that they'll be given an education on why they don't want to back anything from Mark Wade, but also the companies out there that I'm sure are footing the bill. I mean, when you look at this kind of stuff, we've talked for a long time about how exactly bad behavior impacts companies, and instead of letting people walk away, like say a diversity in comics, nope, people had to interfere. They had to go out and they had to tell that company that was going to distribute his book, yeah, they had to go in. They had to sit down and make that call and really let themselves be heard. Much like those people in days of yore that would threaten to break the kneecaps of whatever, I'm sure that that really went badly. In fact, I am sure to. We will convene and talk about this again because there's much, much more out there that we've yet to see. But anyhow, you tell me exactly what you think about this. So if you like this kind of content, what should they do exactly? Subscribe. And? Like. Like. There you go. Now, what do you get when you subscribe? Sure. No, they don't get shirts. What do they actually get from that? Do you have any idea? Puppy dogs. <laughs> Puppy dogs. Puppy dogs not included. No. Nope. And dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. Yep, those aren't included. Actually, you'll get access to videos, and at 10,000 subs, we'll have something there. Now, we also have some links within the description. We have a Patreon link. We have a PayPal link. Do you like Patreon? Yes. Yes, it's got your videos on there. You did some good videos, didn't you? And the other one means yours. Yeah, they're mine on there, too. And there's also PayPal, you know, where they can tip. You buy toys with that stuff, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and we also have merchandising. What do you think about this shirt? Can you say, hey there? Hey there, and it contacts everything. It contacts everything. That's good, too, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Then you have this mug. Do you remember what that mug's called? Tug Love Coffee Mug. <laughs> Tug Love Coffee Mug. Good job there. Is that pretty? Do you like that cup? Uh-huh. I like it, too. They can put everything to drink in it. What's your favorite drink? Apple juice. Apple juice. Can they put apple juice in that thing? Yes. Yeah, they can put coffee or anything else in it. Then we have the HP Tug Craft stuff, you know. So we have the monster shirts and the monster mugs. Those are cool, too, huh? Yeah, but why does that say no? He says no because he doesn't want all those bad things to get him. And he knows there's so much crazy out there. Can you say, watch out for the crazy? Watch out for the crazy. Yeah, that's right. You need a shirt to protect you just in time for Halloween. Man. And we need some of that for trick or treat, don't we? Yes. Yeah, so definitely. I could be a kid. Oh yeah, just like him, only cooler because that guy is really, really chalky. But anyway, can you no, say bye? No, that would do what I just want. Oh yeah, he's definitely more cool. I definitely agree. So can yeah. you say bye? Bye. And say thank you. Thank you. And subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>